I met Jeff Hardy when I was 10 years old. In Philadelphia, I, I remember seeing Jeff Hardy outside before he was about to walk in to this wrestling event and captivate an audience like nobody else could. Uh, we have a little saying back here in the locker room for Jeff Hardy. We call him a living legend because he is. He, he inspired generation upon generation of professional wrestlers, guys like me, uh, guys like Darby Allen, people like the Young Bucks. The Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff Hardy, have done more for professional wrestling than I think even they realize. Me and Darby Allen. My God Almighty! Oh no! The carnage, the wreckage! I'm looking forward to this wrestling match with Adam Cole, and we're gonna tie it up, we're gonna tie it up well, and I'm gonna break the knot. Now I find myself in the semifinals of the most prestigious tournament to ever take place here in AEW, the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. The sharpshooter did it, Adam Cole wins it. Man, Jeff Hardy, Adam Cole, for the first time, man, it's another, like, dream match, so to speak. And how fitting that I look at a guy like Jeff Hardy, a guy that I was motivated by, inspired by, knowing that I'm gonna whoop his ass and remind Jeff Hardy that there's a new living legend in town. And it's Adam Cole, baby. The distant future, I mean, for sure, is the Hardy Boys as AEW Tag Team Champions. But for right now, man, I'm gonna win this Owen Hart Foundation Tournament in honor of Owen's life and the energy he provides me with each and every day. I went to war with Dax in the quarterfinals last week. And this week on Dynamite, I will go to war with Jeff Hardy. But the, the fight, it's gonna be a lot different. Because you see, Adam Cole and Jeff Hardy, we've never stepped into the ring together. I don't know him, and that's 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 a good thing, you know. That's like from uh, the unknown, and I'm so comfortable with the unknown because we never know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen tonight, but like this week on Dynamite, Adam Cole, you're going down, brother. And now, with the stakes the highest they've ever been, Adam Cole will put down Jeff Hardy. All those bumps, all those bruises all the beatings that you've taken, not only has that continued to add up, but you are gonna feel a new pain. Because it's gonna be a new sense of realization, Jeff, that you don't have it anymore. That when you're in the ring with one of the best damn pro wrestlers on the planet, you don't stand a chance. And Jeff, after I beat you and I go on to the finals, whoever my opponent is, I will proudly stand there as the winner of this entire tournament and I will proudly stand there as the new living legend here in AEW. Boom. It's extremely important to me to, again, be writing the history books of All Elite Wrestling, but to be part of a tournament that we are recognizing a former role model himself Owen Hart, what better female wrestler than to carry on the legacy than the role model herself, Dr. Britt Baker, D.M.D. I guess some might say I'm at a slight disadvantage because I don't know who my opponent is. What if it's somebody I never heard of? We can all be damn sure that they've heard of me, but regardless, they're stepping into my world, into my division, into my all elite wrestling, and this is my tournament to win. You know, the plan's always been simple. When I arrived in AEW, I smashed my way to gold. Can Eagle Mount Buster! Joe covers two, three! Yes! He won it! He won it! and the path continues. I've already shown you the game plan. It's really simple. You put people in my way, I knock them down, and I take what they have. Oh, oh what are your knockings? Tosses them down. Beautiful. Samoa Joe locks in the rear choke, and Trent Beretta. Trent Trent Beretta in. goes out. He's out. He's out. He's out. And unfortunately, for anybody who's involved in this Owen Hart Memorial Tournament, you are in my way. You will be smashed, and I will take what's mine. This week on Dynamite, I find myself facing the proverbial Joker. And I know you're sleeping and you're wishing and you're dreaming and you're praying that maybe Jay Lethal's the Joker. <laughs> it's not. 
And Sanjay Dutt, you claim that you're not the Joker. You say that Jay Lethal, he's not the Joker either. And neither is Satnam Singh. You're probably thinking and praying, I want to get my hands on that Satnam Singh, seven foot four, one in a billion, the largest athlete in the world. It's not him, he's not the Joker. But I've already come to that understanding, Sanjay. We understand that you're not that man because you are all three walking around with your jaws a little bit too loose, tongues wagging a little bit too soft. You put your money where your mouth is. We used to say, Tera tid vada, te tera tamak chota. Because if you were the Joker, you would be a man who's been handed his expiration date. Come down to mind. Wherever you are, Mr. Joker, you're aptly named. Because you'll be a fool if you show up. I've always considered myself a very complete wrestler, a guy that can take from different styles and mesh them to be unique to me. Historically, I've always struggled with Lucha Libre. And my opponent, Ray Phoenix, might be the most impressive Lucha guy I've ever seen. You're good, Ray. You're really good. If this were Arena Mexico, I might be in trouble, but it's not. You're not facing just some other guy, because although I've never seen anyone like you, with your set of skills, you've never faced anybody like me. I'm a man that can hurt you. I can smother you, that can make you drown with my limbs, right? You can't springboard if your uh, shoulder is dislocated. You can't jump off the ropes with a broken ankle. And I'll tell you right now, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ground you and I'm gonna hurt you. Because, Ray, this is the Owen Hart Cup, man. As the only Canadian in this tournament, I feel the pressure and the weight of an entire country on my back. Winning this tournament means everything. It means I pay respect to a man that I have idolized my entire life, Owen Hart. It means I paid respect and homage to a wrestling family, Canadian wrestling royalty, Ray. It means that I become the winner of the inaugural Owen Hart Cup, man. And it all begins with you, Ray. Lucha Libre. See you Wednesday, amigo.